Hey everyone, Brian here from Computer Cable Store and I'm back today with another video. So today is the first video of a multi-part series where I'll be showing you how to set up a home network from start to finish. I'll be covering everything from running cable, to mounting the cabinet, to punching down a patch panel. So this video here, I'll be covering the planning stages for your network. The first step is to decide where you'll be mounting your cabinet and where all of your cable drops will converge. Oftentimes the best location you'll find is a garage or a basement. After you find a good location, you'll have to decide how many cables you'll be running. In my experience, it's always safe to run a few extras. It's always easier to run them now than in the future. Next up, you'll have to decide what kind of equipment you'll be putting into this rack or cabinet and how much space it's going to be taking up. So racks and cabinets, they'll use a space measurement called a rack mount unit, or simply U for short. A U is 1.75 inches tall. So to figure out what size cabinet or rack you'll be needing, you'll have to decide what equipment you'll be putting into it. For example, a 24-port patch panel is usually one U, and a 24-port switch is usually one U. So that would count for two units. You'll need some power for this equipment as well. So a rack mountable power strip is usually one U. Now a lot of equipment you'll get from your ISP, like a modem or a router, will not be rack mountable, and you'll need somewhere to put this stuff. To solve this solution, a lot of times you can install a shelf that will take up a certain amount of U. A lot of times they'll come in one or two U varieties, but oftentimes the equipment on these shelves will take up more space than the actual shelf. So you need to allocate a few extra U for the height of the equipment. So for a basic home network install, you're probably looking at about seven U of space being used. So you could get away with a nine U racker cabinet, but this won't leave you much room for expansion later. It's always safe to go a little higher in case you need to expand. Well, that should give you a general idea of what equipment you'll be mounting into your rack or cabinet and how much space you'll end up needing. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll be prepping the wall for mounting a rack or cabinet.